Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Kicked off today with break bleeding. I was able to bleed that one, that one back there, the other one back on the other side. However, when I tried to remove the brake bleeder screw from this right front, the screw broke off. So, got to figure out how to get that out and replace it with another one. Changing the oil. That is some dirty, thick stuff. On the good note, there is no sludge in the drain bowl. So that's good. So draining this out, I'm going to put in some fresh oil before we start it. Put these bolts in on this uh, transmission torque mount. I am on freeze duty out here in the junkyard trying to get parts, finish this job. So I, I got a part out of this 960. I can't tell if it's blue or black. Maybe the cold weather. I'm going to hit the next car here real quick trying to find these brake parts I need. Best way to tell if it's working. Spin the tire. Oh, it's already set. Looks like that's working. Let me release it. See if it releases. If it releases, I'm good to go. I am good to go. Let me check the other side. Somebody had a working parking brake out here. And 70 to the rescue. Oop. This side not working. Maybe not. I'm going to check it anyway. Got an 850 with 760 wheels. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But it's got a couple of parts I need, so I'm hitting it. Okay, folks, we are back. Had to put Henrietta's battery on the charger. It was down to one out there at the junkyard. It's at two now. Maybe that cold air was having some effect on it. I got a bunch of parts for this parking brake stuff. I need to find out if I can push this pin out right here. If I can push this pin out, then I don't have to do anything special. If that pin won't come out of that joint, I'm going to have to take the cables loose up there again. So let me let that down and get me some pliers or something, see if I get this pin out. I remember these arms close to this pin being pried apart, so I'm going to try to pry that apart and see if I could work it off of there. And that's probably how I'm going to do this. 737. Got this side together. We have the fuel tank clamp replaced. There is a lot of rust in that drum. I'm going to try to wire brush or sand some of that out. Wire brush didn't do much, but that Dremel disc did a lot better sanding disc. So it's a lot smoother now. I'm going to go ahead and install it. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.